Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Finger Paints Legendary Lore and I'm going to stamp on it. I started off with Bill E's <laughs> as my base coat and here is Legendary Lore. <clears throat> We're going to go in with our first coat of that and this polish has the shimmer bling going on in it. Uh, just like the other one I have already tried from this collection. They're just beautiful. They do take two to three coats to build up depending on, you know, how how you do your your coats and also how your nails are. If you've got really white tips, you might need to do that third coat. Just up to you. Um, but so far, I am just really loving these. I, I'm having a blast with them, obviously. Here's Woody. Got to do some cleanup. Just a little bit, not too bad. Look at that shimmer. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So that was, you know, our first coat and, or our second coat, and <laughs> this might be the third coat. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> ah, but like I said, two to three coats, you know, do it until you feel like, you know, you're, you're good with it. I'll be topping this with Pure Ice Girl on the Run that I can seal all that nail polish in and get it to dry. Sorry, my camera's wigging out. It's just not happy with all that glowing going on right there. And I'm capping my tip there. So I'll be using XYL16 today, and that's one of those acrylic plates from AliExpress. My Bundle Monster Scraper, my Nicole Diary Gold, which is NSO3. And that's my monocle stamper hiding back there. I'll be using this um, nail tape stuff that I got um, for review. I have another video on that somewhere else. But I do really like this. It's um, It feels different than my other latex. And I don't really know how to describe it. It doesn't stink. So that's a big plus. Um, and it goes on really well and it comes off really well. So I have not tried it for water marbling yet, just for gradients and stamping. So we will see how that goes sometime. I'm going to go in and go ahead and start doing some stamping here. I decided to stamp with this gold today. I just figured since it had that gold blinging out of the polish that maybe they would be a match made in heaven. We'll see. <laughs> And I'm going to use a couple of different images today. You know, try to mix it up. I seem to get in rut sometimes and just do the same old, same old. There we go. And I have links for the acrylic plate, plate set, and um, links to little bitty mats like this one that I'm using here. Uh, down below in my description box if you'd like to go check those out. Um, I do, you know, I know I, when I bought my set, they were like, for those stamping plates, it was like $14.40 for 32 stamping plates. And, um, you know, but I don't know how long it'll stay that price. You know, they do go up and down. There we go. We're pulling off that liquid tape. Look at that. And it stuck to the tape. Yay. <laughs> I'll be topping this one off with some posh. I really loved how this one turned out. That um, base color is just gorgeous and you know I didn't I didn't want to totally take away from it but you guys know this stamping junkie's got a stamp so I had to put something on there. But there we go. Here's my swatch photo coming up. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and until next time be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.